So what is the fastest way to actually launch a business? Well, I'll be breaking that down here. The exact process that I'd follow if I was starting over and wanted to get something up and running as fast as possible. So if that's something that interests you, be sure you stay tuned. Now, this is assuming that you already have an idea of a business that you wanna start. If not, that's gonna be your first step. You wanna figure out, okay, what could I possibly see myself starting a business about? Figure out what you're good at and how you could possibly provide value. And then that can help you at least get jump started, at least start getting the brain juices flowing to figure out, you know, where do you see yourself fitting in in the business environment? Now, once you've actually done that, the next thing you wanna do is focus on increasing your income. This is kind of one of the mistakes that I actually made starting off and came to regret it during my process, even though I was a little in too deep. You know, you wanna make sure that you have enough money to be able to pay your bills and comfortably build your business at the same time. This allows you to be able to take on more risk and you won't feel kind of the pressures that come along with it. I wouldn't have quit my job maybe looking back. Maybe I can't necessarily say that. It kind of depends on on just kind of two sides of it. I think that maybe I would have been able to go through the steps a lot faster or go through the trials that I had a lot faster and been able to take a little more risk than I was able to because I had quit my job starting off in the beginning. But if you wait to quit your job once you have a consistent amount of income and then you get to a point where you're able to pull out enough money from your business where it doesn't impact the business but it can actually help you cover your costs, I think that's when it's a good time to be able to get rid of the job. Or when you start realizing that the amount of time you're spending at your job, you could be using to grow your business even faster. So that's kind of the aspects that you really want to look at. The next thing I would do going forward after that is I would look at setting up an actual business structure, okay? Whether it's an LLC, which is the most common, or another idea that you might have, you want to start looking into actually getting that set up as well. Again, recommend that you laser focus, laser focus, laser focus, okay? A mistake that I made was I was kind of jumping from thing to thing, and I realized that times when I had the most success was whenever I told myself it was kind of like, they say they call it burning the ships, where it's kind of the whole idea was, you know, an army was going to war. They landed on the coast of where they're going to have their battles and the commander burnt all the ships and said, there's no going back. So we have to win. And that's kind of the idea that you want to look at. You want to laser focus on one thing and promise to yourself that, hey, no matter what happens, I want to focus on this thing for the next three to six months. Now, if you can promise yourself that you're going to realize, you know, let's say by maybe month one or month two, you're going to start feeling like, hey, you know, it's not even worth it to keep going, not worth it to continue. But as you push yourself, it's kind of like you're going to see the light. You're going to come out of the other side. And that's when you're going to realize, hey man, I'm so glad that I kept pushing and I didn't give up because if I had, I wouldn't be where I am today. And you hear that, right? You hear that from a lot of entrepreneurs that say, man, there's times where I wanted to give up, but I just kept pushing. That's kind of the mindset and the idea that you kind of want to look at it with is laser focus on one thing and just keep going with that thing for three to six months. Another thing you want to do is you want to laser focus on a specific audience. That was something that I did early on. I don't know if it was by luck or by instinct or what, but as I continued on my path and my uh, entrepreneurial journey, I kind of strayed away from it. I started trying to be all things to a lot of people as a opposed to just focusing on a specific audience or a specific customer for one thing. That's another thing that you want to make sure that you're looking to do. Now, once you have all those intact, you got to figure out a way to get paid, right? And for me, you want to set up a way to collect money. And for me, what I think is the easiest is just using something like Stripe, for example. Stripe is a free website. They make money based on transaction fees. So as you charging people for your product or your service, they take a cut of the money that comes in. Something like, I don't know, two and a half percent and a little more on top or, you know, like 30 cents on top or whatever the case may be. I'm not sure what their numbers are now, but you know, starting off for me, that's the easiest. They provide you all the infrastructure you need to be able to accept payments and be able to get that money into your business. After that, next thing you want to look at is get a bare bones website set up. Do not try to pay some dude $5,000, especially if you're trying to like, you're really trying to limit the expenses. Do not look to have some guy built out a $5,000 website for you. I look at it as set up like a really bare bones website for you to be able to get started. All you really be able to do is collect either emails or payments or both. And there's a lot of different ways that you can actually do that. I look at it as just set up a basic landing page for the lead. It's literally one page. And by leads, I'm saying just collecting emails, right? You're offering something to people for an email and you use that page just to be able to collect their emails and, and send them whatever you're promising them. And another thing you need is just a basic sales page to actually convert visitors into buyers. Okay. And that can be one page as well. There's a lot of landing different softwares out there. If you need some ideas in terms of what softwares to use, let me know in the comments. I don't mind listing out some of the top applications or a top software in the description for you guys to take a look and access. Now, once you've done all that, what you want to do next is find a social platform where your specific customer is going to be hanging out. This can be like a Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, whatever the case may be. And you want to start educating your potential customers on your solution. Let them know about what you're doing and give them information, educate them on, you know, letting them know what kind of solutions are out there, how to deal with certain problems and things like that. And then you'll be able to convert those guys into sellers or into buyers. And that's really the gist of it. That's how I would start. I would keep it extremely 
extremely simple and extremely laser focused. And that's whenever you're going to see that you're going to have the most success with a business starting off and just focusing on, don't focus on, I want to turn this to a million dollars. Just focus on how can I make one sale? How can I make five sales? How can I make a thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars, so on and so forth. And as you keep leveling up, just keep moving the goalposts. And then you're going to see that you're going to grow little by little. And next thing you know, you're going to look back six months from now and say, whoa, like look where I started and look where I am now. That's really where you can see the most progress and have the most potential for success. Now, if you're interested in learning about where to actually find other critical parts of your business, check out my video that I shot on how to actually set up your LLC in 20 minutes or less for free. I touch on everything you need to know from how to set up a professional email, how to set up a professional phone, a bank account, and more. So be sure you check that out. I'll link to that here as well as in the description. So I hope that helps. Let me know what other questions you might have, what other things I can help you with aside from this video. And I'll be sure to answer those in the comments and possibly shoot videos on. So I appreciate y'all watching. Be sure that you stay tuned to the channel, you subscribe so you don't miss any future videos and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.